All right, this is a review of the Reviver View Defibrillator. This right here, I like the View Defibrillator more than like other brands because it is a one piece unit. It is hard to like lose any of the products with this where the other of uh, defibrillators you have issues when it comes to uh, losing the batteries or dropping the batteries or the pads, you know, locating the pads. Everything with this unit is solid. It's a, it is a one state device. And I'm going to go over it a little bit with you. So here it is, the view right here. See, it says Reviver View. This is different from the Reviver, the basic Reviver that, we, that they have. Um, this right here is unique because it has a screen display. So I'm just going to press this button right here. And what happens is it turns on and gives you a diagnostics. Now, if you look at it, it shows you right here on, on the screen, it shows you... Uh, the battery status which is full right here but it also shows you uh, uh, it goes off after so many seconds so I'm gonna just hit the button again it goes off and it shows you when the batteries expire when the pads expire as well as uh, other uh, analytics at the bottom right there so that's one of the big features about this also when you're ready to when you're ready to Call actually use the defibrillator, you press the button. Follow instructions to apply pads. And it gives you instructions. Remove clothing from patient's chest. On what to do. So say for instance, someone isn't necessarily. Locate pads package in back of AED. The most confident with this, all they have to do Care is open go. pads package. With this, the, the instructions that are Peel on. Peel pads from blue liner. The screen right here. And it goes through it to tell you what apply to do. Apply pads. Apply to pads. Bare chest. And it goes and all the way up to, you get ready to, sh to you know, to, uh. Uh, use Remove this shock someone from patient's chest. And once you put the pads Remove on there, clothing. Once you put the pads Remove on there, clothing from patient's. Uh, Remove. Hold on, let me get, turn this Remove off. Remove really clothing from patient's chest. Powering off. Uh, once you put the pads on the person, it detects that the pads are actually on the person correctly. Okay, so that's one of the big features with that, and then it will tell you when. To, to press the shock button, which is very, very valuable, especially like someone who is in a spur of the moment, can't remember all the training that they've been taught. All right, and some other, other, other features about this right here are the pads. It's, you know, there's a set of pads. There's two pads in here that are tucked in, so you don't lose anything because uh, the pads are tucked in the back. And, you know, one thing with the Reviver view is it that this upgraded version, this new version of the Reviver, it comes with a one-piece battery. That's it. One-piece battery. Some other types of units use multiple types of batteries. Some may even use two, which a 9-volt battery is included. But this right here comes with one-piece battery that is all you need right here. And it comes with the expiration date on the back. Um, and you just pop it in just like that. And it clicks in. Performing battery test. And it, as soon as you pump it in, it does a battery test, and it will show you um, where the battery is at as far as power. Battery okay. You see, it just Powering said it's off. okay, and it powers off. Now the pads. When you're done with the pads, to take the pads off, all you do is unplug this right here, and then put a new set of pads in, just like that. These right here are the standard pads. They also have pediatric pads. Now, the pediatric pads come with, uh, they release a less voltage, I believe. So, that's uh, a good thing to know. So, just slide the battery packs in there. Another thing to look at is right here. After you've had an incident where you had to use the defibrillator, you're going to insert, you can insert a, a SD memory card in here and it runs a diagnostics. And then it puts the information on the card to where you can send in to DefibTech, the company. And so they'll have information about the incident that happened, you know, just to check to see if the defibrillator is okay and everything is good. So that's just the basic. There are some other things. If you look at uh, one of my other videos, it's going to show, I'm going to go over like some of the controls in here. There are a lot of controls that you can go through that are really helpful. 
Uh, I can go to it. So uh, stay tuned and look for my other Reviver View videos. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.